Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to find the greatest common factor between 5 and 7. Well, let me say that this problem is actually worded incorrectly. I think they mean the greatest common factor of 5 and 7. That's generally how we say it, of five, to the two numbers. So we're looking at 5 and 7. Well, 5 and 7 don't actually have a greatest common factor because the greatest common factor is the number that goes into both these two numbers, that's the biggest number that we can think of that goes into both these two numbers. But these two numbers don't share any factors except for 1. So 1 technically would be the greatest common factor, but 1 is a factor of all numbers, so that's kind of insignificant. If you want to find the greatest common factor between 12 and, let's say, 6, well, 1, yes, goes into 12 and 6, 2, 2 goes into 12 and 6, 3, 3 goes into 12 and 6, and then we can see that no other numbers that are bigger than 3 go into 12 and 6. So that's an example of finding the greatest common factor for 12 and 6. That would be 3. But unfortunately, there's no other big factors that go into 5 and 7. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.